Greetings, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bruce, your host. Um, just a quick reminder, uh, short shop cards, we have them available with stickers. If you don't have shop cards to trade, that's okay. Just give me an uh, email, a shout out my email address, and uh, we'll send you one. Today we want to announce our uh, participation into uh, a, uh, another group build. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Uh, this one is uh, Customs Hot Rods Illustrated Annual Group Build. And this is hosted by Paul over at Left Coast Model Car Builds. Uh, this run is running this year from February through December 21st, 2024. So, uh, yeah, I have to write everything down. <laughs> I'm old, you know. Uh, and what I'm going to use is, and I've already contacted Paul and asked, is this, because... I'm itching to build this. I tried to get into uh, another build, but couldn't get a hold of the guy, so Paul's the lucky recipient. <laughs> uh, there's a couple of other of these variants of these kits out there, and I wanted, I liked, I wanted this one. Uh, not that I'm going to use the decals. It's just that the purple caught my eye. To be honest, <laughs> uh, this is a kid I got off of an auction, and over in the Ohio. The scale level three, and it's a special edition, and I thought it was kind of cool. Uh, we'll show you the sides of the box, and uh, what caught my eye was the. Uh, this grill right here, kind of. <laughs> but it's uh, 140 pieces, 8, uh, eight inches long here, Dutch. And it's molded in white. And the there's the bottom side. But you can see So, uh, this is also going to be an unboxing. I want to show you what I got. So, like I said, this came from an auction over in Ohio. Uh, there's the uh, instructions. And uh, the decals are in pretty good shape. So, we may try to use them. We're not real good with decals. But uh, we try our, try our best. Uh, 17 steps, you have a vehicle. Looks like you put the uh, louvers on the hood with all the little flames. <laughs> I don't know if that's what we'll do or not. I'm not real big on louvers. Different variances of the decals. Cool. And then typical... Revel fashion, you get a book uh, for your instructions. They have excellent instructions. Uh, I'm not going to go through the instructions. But I wanted to show you what I got anyway. Now, this is a sealed kit, as you can tell. Go ahead and get Mr. Scissors out here and get him in on the game. And I know we don't open the chrome, but today we're going to. There we have the uh, grills and the bumpers. Not sure what those are. And then the hubcaps.
And then we have license plate, don't know. Some more, I think those are velocity stacks. And maybe, don't know. Don't know. <laughs> Lots of don't knows. Carburetor, valve covers, uh, who knows? There's like headlights here, tail lights. And then we have, looks like uh, we got some pipes, custom bumpers, like custom grills I like. And of course there's the, the other grill. It's like brake rotors. Uh, beauty rims, steelies, which I may use. Although I don't know, I think I have some Craigers coming that may look good. From Brian over at Got Fuels. He's got a new prayer and he's wanting to print stuff out and get it adjusted. And I said, sure, I'll be a guinea pig. <laughs> so he's working on those, he said. So we'll see how that works out. Uh, so we have plenty of time, to, you know, we, to get the uh, the wheels. So no rush on those. Always check your bag. Let's see. There's the frame. Man, it looks awesome. I don't see any cleanup on it to speak of. Nice. Whoa! And then there's the seats. Uh, water pump. Looks like starter. Uh, coil. Distributor. That's probably all filter tube. Those are probably horns, yep. Front end pieces of some sort, radio hoses, springs, fan, and, and pulley system. Whoa! Probably some sort of custom part. Then we've got the far wall. Kind of we have some parts that go there. Cool. Brake parts. Fan motor probably goes there. Voyage regulator. Maybe we'll have to highlight that puppy. And there's the uh, rest of the chassis. Oh, remove. Imagine that. Awesome detail. And we've got the battery built in. Well, that's okay with cables. We'll have to highlight those. Nice. Here we have uh, the interior door panels, part of the back seat. Oh man, the steering wheel's trash. Ooh, we we'll have to try to fix that. Ooh, look at that. Oh my, that's terrible. There's the dash panel. Apparently we have, we have gauges that goes in there. Yep, no, we'll have to be careful with that one. We'll put you over there and we'll fix that right away. Uh, here we have the engine components, the backing plates. It's nice that the, none of the engine stuff's chromed. Exhaust manifolds. Otherwise, I just have to dechrome them. <laughs> I might just look look into buying one of these kits. This is cool. Uh, looks like some more of the chassis. Not knowing. Don't 
top of the radiators, so the radiators in three pieces. Cool. Sway bar, shocks. Uh, exhaust system. Brake drums. <laughs> cool. Fender skirts. Most definitely will use those wide white walls. Whoa. Good thing everybody has a floor. It catches everything. Now this is why you check the bags. This would be the generator with a mounting arm. So we're going to put you right back in there. There's the uh, rear end housing springs. That is, that's cool. I don't care where the hog heads can close all the way, but at least the axle goes through it. Little flash. That's okay. Front suspension. Drive shaft. There's another piece. I don't know what it is, but it's going in there. Then we have the big fender skirts. So the question will be big fender skirts, little fender skirts. Hmm. Don't know. Put a link, uh, comment in the, uh, down below. Let me know which, which ones you think. Uh, let's get them back out of here. Which ones? Big fender skirts without the dog hair? Or the little fender skirts with the dog hair? <laughs> That's the beauty of having puppy dogs. They're everywhere. <laughs> uh, then we'll get the car out. And this bag is heavy because there's a lot of stuff in there besides a bitey. Thank you, Mr. Scissors, for your participation today. Sometimes we can't do these videos without him. Although, yeah. I didn't use him very well, did I? That's all right. Okay, well, we shut the phone off. <laughs> so, we have uh, axle pins that we can lose. Awesome. And there's some sleeves in there. I'm not sure what those are for. Metal tubing. Hmm, interesting. You go in there. Here's our glass. No, we're not taking the glass out. As you can see, there's lots of different different pieces. Put you right in there. And then we have a big old hood. Nice. With the hinges already on it. Uh, sometimes I'm good with that, sometimes I'm not. Depends on how they fit. Most of the time I just don't put them on or cut them off. And then we have a custom hood with all the louvers. I'm assuming that's for the custom front end because they're a little bit different. Uh, not really too much. Not, no, not really too much difference. Just this one has louvers. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, they fit right inside each other. And here's the uh, guy himself. And I was just on eBay looking at the coops. And there's not a whole lot of difference between sedan and the coops. Uh... As you can see, this body is almost as clean as a whistle. 
which is a joy compared to the one I've been working on. This thing here is just a flash nightmare. I mean, look at the gaps in that. Oops. And yeah, it's just. This AMC kit is probably. And I thought, <laughs> I thought the showboat was a bad kit. Man, oh man, I'm going to tell you. The only thing that works half right is the hood. It, that kit is terrible. And that's that 71 mock kit. With the 007 kit, it's, you would have thought it would have been a better kit. Man, the flash on that was terrible. Anyway, back to this car. This is awesome. So we may be, we may be using I don't know. This is supposed to be a custom build, so we'll probably use this hood with that. Uh, yeah, I like it with the fancy bumpers and and uh, grill. Because I am gonna buy another one of these kits just because. Then here's the wheels. There's different wheels. Some one set smaller than it looks like. Yep. So we'll s see what Brian sends us. Uh, I do have. Uh, these <laughs> that I haven't really looked at yet. Sorry, Brian. I looked at some of them. I separated them in the bags. Uh, we'll see what we'll see what goes goes there. And there you go. Uh, Hang on a second, we'll be right back. Okay, there you go, Paul. There's my entry video. <laughs> and my unboxing. I kind of do them together. It's saves time. And I know it makes a little longer video, and I apologize for that, but my videos are long anyway. Grab a beverage and some popcorn. You there get your blank get your blankie ready because I'll be putting your butt to sleep. <laughs> anyway, uh, my thoughts on colors was uh, first was going to be uh, flat gray, and uh, it's going to either be that color or uh, pearlized black. I'm not sure yet. It could end up that color. Uh, that color. Or that color. <laughs> Who knows? We still have that one. <laughs> Anyhow, choices. Well, get this all washed up. And yes, I wash still. I wash my kits. Uh, and Don dishwashing liquid and let them air dry. I got to go fix the steering wheel. So, remember, keep Terry Sr. here to Hobby Barn in your thoughts and prayers. So, take care, everybody. God bless. Be kind to your neighbors. You don't know when you're going to see them again. And save the fingers. <laughs> Bye now.